QuasiDB weekly forecast video for the week beginning the 6th of September 2021. We have a fairly busy calendar uh, this week. We've got um, RBA Tuesday, Bank of Canada on Wednesday. We've got um, Fed um, speaking on Wednesday slash Thursday, and then we've got the ECB on Thursday. So I'm thinking we could be a little bit risk off and it could be supported for the dollar. And the reason for it is that they're going to be talking about their uh, slowing down the pace of the uh, bond purchases. Now that would be uh, tapering essentially. So uh, it could be a little bit risk off. Uh, it might be supportive of the euro or it could be positive uh, USD. It's quite tricky to say, but what apparently Barclays are saying that, um, you know, the chairman's not going to uh, indicate you know they're going to change their monetary policy stance and uh they're not going to change their pet program so it's carry on as normal if so um it could just be like a non-event and it'll be quite frustrating it might be supportive of the dollar uh like i say and we look at the bubbles and we can see that um there's been some movement on the usd so we go to the weekly bubbles once it loads there you go. Ooh, where are we? Weekly bubbles. All right, so we see that the USD is going to be strongest, the second strongest, so the Kiwi is strongest, but I think there's exhaustion, and this is going to overtake. This is what I believe is going to happen. So this could indicate that we're going to have a, maybe a little bit of a risk-off scenario, and the ECB could be the catalyst. Uh, if we look at the currency strength, I've got to click on it. Um, USD and Yen are strong, so it could be forecasting some kind of uh, something brewing, and we might be going to um, the ECB as being a catalyst, potentially. Um, but what I want to talk about, really, I mean, this is all fundamental stuff, so it's very uh, up in the air. It's all speculative. There's no way of knowing what's going to happen to the price, but this could be a mover, I think. And we might see some strength in the USD, especially if the sentiment lines up. So currently, AU, which is a great proxy for risk, we are at MR1 at 7459. And we did have quite a nice healthy rejection off that. But SOC above. Oh, hopefully it lets you load it. 7501 and one below 7410. Now the one below is larger. We are a buy, however. I was wondering whether or not we might be seeing some kind of rounding effect on the sentiments. So if they, it goes up, then we can most certainly come down and get that liquidity. Um, so I'm going to be keeping an eye on this black line. It's the average line of the Iranda IG, Saxo Bank, Duke's Copy, FX Blue, my FX Book, Forks Factory. So you could potentially take these off, um, just have that. We used a MyFX book line, which might have merit if we look at crossovers. And there's something to think about. I've been thinking about it a bit recently, so that might be worth a look at if you see the crossover the MFB against the average line. So there's the buy signal of the crossover, you see. So there might be potential in that. So... Um, MR1, 7459, okay, so AU, um, AJ, sorry, let's do AJ, we'll do the Aussies, because we've got RBA coming up, now MR1, it's 8205, one above is 8210, 8142, it doesn't look like we're going to do a rounding effect yet, it's still pointing down quite a bit, and so, um, and don't forget we're above monthly pivot as well, so, you know, bear that in mind with AU. Let's go to EU and so MR1. So I did say that we're at diff uh, interesting levels on the chat. Uh, 119.10, 118.55. Uh, we were by, very choppy, very zigzaggy, and it's gone a little bit sideways. So if it, remember, if it comes up, we'll come down. If it goes down, we'll go up. So keep it on the average line. Dolly Yan. Uh, here we go, calculating trend lines, so monthly pivot, 109.80, we're at 109.78 now, so it's a, it's a very uh, important day today, uh, technically we're quite weak, 
SOC above, 109.90, 109.55. They're going long, which doesn't favor our, um, our long idea that we had. We were going to buy this above monthly pivot, but we don't want the retail guys to go long as well because they're really counter trend. And technically, we're a bit weak. And we just crossed over the sell as well. So uh, keep an eye on the current ratio. So 109. Um, 80. So that it might just be technically uh, a bullish, and it might just carry on. Uh, dollar Swiss. Right, so we're going above monthly pivot 91.35, we're 91.48, and above is 92.16, 90.90. We are a sell, but we have been for uh, just a ridiculously long time. Um, I've lost track how long we've been a sell. So I've it could just be disregarding it. For some reason, retail guys are very long, this pair, and they have been for so, so long. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, January. I mean, we did dip a little bit below it, but they just bought it anyway. Um, yeah, every time it crosses the 50% line, they go long. So, uh, yeah, it's a tricky one. It might just disregard the sentiments. Perhaps just look at the technicals and the fundamentals too. So. 91.38 for that one. Pound USD. And uh, SOC above, 139, 13809MR1 up here, 139.41. We are we have got a descending trend line. Um, we're on that now. Uh, we are buy and they sold it. So you know that's bullish. Dollar CAD. I won't do all of these by the way. I'll just just I'll probably get to EJ maybe. Uh, one above, so it looks like we're probing. One two five fifty two. Oh no, we're not quite there yet. We're just we're close. Yeah, we, because it's the daily chart. So one below, one two four eighty. They went long, uh, so you'd imagine price should fall, but you know it didn't have to uh, obey the sentiment. It didn't have to be a mirror image, but normally it does. Um, so. Zooming out. So yeah, them going along there. We should have fallen a little bit more. So we could, this could just be like a fundamental oil driven uh, narrative. Um, quite tricky. Sell, like I say, and uh, it's quite weak in the technicals too. So be careful. And you, again, the MR1, which you'll see here, 71.54. Uh, we're 7144, so 10 pips below. You could use it as a stop loss, but you would have to be careful because we took guys as short. So, you ideally, at least want it to tick up first before you, you sold it, uh, or at least sideways anyway. Um, 7197, 1796, so very, 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 very skewed. So, it's coming up, it's basically telling me like a potential reversal because it's destroyed these guys and it's destroyed these guys and it's destroyed these guys and these two the Oanda IG they're in the process of being utterly destroyed once they have been their stops been taken there's no motive to carry on because it's taken so many stops <laughs> and so um, you know especially if the USD strengthens which I think it might do on Thursday then you know then it's just gonna be a horrible scenario for these guys who got burnt and it's one of those things where they'll say, I wish I held. But of course, if they think that, then it's going to be a disaster for them because it's no guarantee that the USD is going to strengthen. So uh, it, it looks like they've got blown up. And if they do, we'll certainly see a sign on this indicator, this ratios. Once they get blown up, then it's going to reverse. And then they'll come up and then the price will fall. So it's a very, very horrendous. So you definitely want to make sure you're on the right side of the trade at all times. And this is why you need the uh, FX SSI indicators. Absolutely need it if you're trading uh, Forex. All right, so, I mean, there's nothing that's really guaranteed. What's quite certain is that the retail guys lose money on average, okay? So we covered 8J, it won't do Swiss. Just a quick look at Euro Pound. Um, so there's um, monthly pivot 8544. So assuming we hold above that would be bullish. Technically, we're a bit bearish. I'll do EJ and pound yen, and then I'll, I'll finish. Uh, as I see above, 13075, 13010, 
buy. Uh, they sold it. Maybe we might be doing a rounding thing. But it looks like they, uh, my folks book guys are going long. So if they do, then price can fall. <laughs> just, to, just to screw with them. Monthly pivot is there. So I'd be looking to buy dips above monthly pivot. But we can maybe retrace a little bit. And this is certainly going to be a mover on Thursday as well. It could be a non-event, which would be disappointing. But we'll have to wait and see. Pound yen. This is the last one. So one above, 152.42. 151.67. The signal sent to buy. And we're buy. Sold it, but quite gradual. And so that's that. So a quick look at US 30, um, US 500, maybe. Uh, so it's just, um, it's just uh, floating in um, midair there. Let's have a look at the uh, volume profile, maybe. <laughs> it's frustrating because I, I, I think so many people want this to fall in order to, to buy the dip, but it looks like it's not going to. Uh, four, five, three, two, and you see how we're bouncing off that. So this coming up is going to hurt the dollar. It's going to hurt the yen. So I think what we might be seeing here, we might be seeing a little reversal on the technicals because there's no reason for a strong USD and a strong yen if uh, risk is rallying and S and P is rallying. So uh, we might be seeing some reversal there. And uh, we've got a notification about the Aussie CAD. So we're crossing R1. So that'd be bullish, Aussie. So that's that. So um, maybe we'll look to eat UJ, but we don't really want to buy it when the retail guys are going long as well. So I'll finish up with Dixie. So keep an eye on 92.14. I was thinking this could have been like a phony move, um, but you know, if we're going up in the S&P, which is looks like we are, then this is going to fall. All right, so have a good week, and uh, let me know if you want any charts, like I always say. If you need any help or advice, just let me know. Remember that risk, um, risk management is king, and that will uh, that will mean that you're going to be in for the long haul. So don't necessarily trade large just to win big. You want to um, trade small so you're in for the long haul. And especially if things are so uncertain, I don't know what's going to happen on Thursday. It could be bullish USD. Who knows? So um, I'll wrap up now, and uh, have a good day, and I'll speak to you soon.